You can have all the security features in place for your WordPress site, but if they are all on an infected server in your web hosting account, then your site can still get infected. Now, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer here because this is the worst case scenario and may never happen, but you should plan for the worst and hope for the best. Now, with this in mind, it's best to plan on moving your sites to a VPS, that stands for Virtual Private Server, or a dedicated server as soon as your budget allows for it, as soon as you can afford it. Now, as far as starting out and using a shared hosting plan, like most of us do that are on a budget, there's a couple of questions that you should ask the hosting company before you purchase an account from them. Number one, how often do you run malware scans on your servers? Not individual accounts, but on the servers that those accounts reside. And number two, do you do backups of your account? And if so, how often? And is it free? And if not, how much is this extra going to cost me? Now, there are plenty of other questions to ask in general, just like, say, how many domains can I have on my account? How many email accounts can I have? How, what's the bandwidth limitations? And so on. But most of these are actually spelled out on the hosting company's websites. So if you're wanting to save a ton of time and research, then you can contact a guy named Jim at tvcnet.com. I mean, just show you here that that's tvcnet.com. And then it'll just redirect you to this site here. And you can use the phone number to, if you've got questions. And they've got a complete list here of all the different types of services that they offer and the prices are very reasonable. The main kicker here is you've, you've got the daily malware scan and they also provide the backups. So definitely include tvcnet.com in your list of researching websites for your future hosting account. Now once you've got your hosting setup taken care of and everything's all safe and secure, if you want to find out now what Google thinks of your site as far as it being infected or not, and here is a URL for you to check into. Let me just bring this over here. And you can just replace this www.example.com with your URL. Like, for example, this right here. And I'll show you an example of what it's going to look like. I think that'll work. I don't think I need the www in front of mine. Let me just copy this and paste this in the address bar here. And this is the results of what you should get if your page is clean. What is the current listing status for your domain? And it'll tell you here if your site is listed as suspicious or not. And hopefully it's not suspicious. And so on. And there's a host of other goodies over at the Webmaster Tools that you can rely on to keep your site safe, secure, and indexed too. But that's the story for a different video. Now, if you already have a hosting company and do not want to move, then you might want to consider some type of site monitoring service. And you can set one up like what I'm about to show you, and it's free. Or there are free services, and there are paid services that will monitor your website on a constant basis. Now, both paid and free have their pros and cons. And you can do a search for website monitoring service and come up with a little over 150 million results. So there's no shortages of options to choose from here. But let's go ahead and look at a way that you can do this for free. And it's going to take less than five minutes to set up. And this is called Google Alerts for Malware. So what you want to first figure out is a list of all the keywords that you want Google to alert you about if they happen to pop up on your site. For example, if your WordPress site has nothing to do whatsoever with pharmaceuticals and you want to be alerted the first time that something ends up on your site having to do with Cialis or Viagra or porn or any other type of keyword that you know you didn't have anything to do with putting on your site and it shows up there. If you want to be alerted to that, here's how you do it. Let me go ahead and pull in my handy dandy little timer here, set it five minutes. Let's go ahead and start this off. Now we want to head over to Google Alerts and I believe it's google.com alerts forward slash alerts I believe yes it is and here's the search query that we want to put in there you want to put in site colon your domain dot com or whatever your domain is and then you want to put in a space and then the keywords that you want to search for let me just show you that on this text document here Right here. This is what you want to put in. Site colon your domain. You know, replace this with your actual domain if it's dot info, dot com, dot org, whatever. 
space, then the keyword you want to search for, and then a space, then the word or, space, another keyword. So for example, Cialis, space, or, space, Viagra, space, or, space, whatever else you want to put in there that you want to be alerted about. And then once you do that, let's get this out of the way here, then you want to result type. I'd say everything. And you can always come back and adjust this later if you're just getting too much information. Hopefully you won't get any information. That's the goal here. How often? I'd say at least once a day. And because remember, this is free, so why not? How many? Only the best results? I'd say all results. And then your email address that you want the alerts to be sent to. Then click on Create Alert, and you're good to go. Now, if you have several alerts in here, because maybe you're fluent with Google Alerts, then you can go here to Manage Your Alerts to go in and edit any alerts you have set up or to see if you need to make any adjustments on any of those current alerts you've got already created. And there you go. You see, you're able to do this site monitoring for free in under five minutes. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on site monitoring and web hosting the secure way. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.